Councillor Oliver, please. I just have one item I'd like to bring up, if I could. Uh, we, I think, are all aware, and, and I, I'll direct this perhaps both at the clerk and Mr. Baird, but the uh, pre-hearing conference around Hastings Drive did take place, and, and I think we've been told that there is going to be a hearing. So it was my recollection from our in-camera that we could request Mr. Tice to come back to council and receive some further direction now that it would appear as though there's going to actually be a hearing. So that's my question, Mr. Mayor. Can we direct Mr. Tice to come back in a few weeks uh, and uh, to have further discussion with council? Thank you. Through uh, the mayor, absolutely, council can direct that. I could take that message back. Uh, he could provide a debrief and then maybe uh, e explain you know, what happens next. It's uh, G January 8, 9, 10, I believe, three dates that have been set. Uh, so if you'd leave that with me, I will follow up and we'll have a, an appropriate date. I'll work with Mr. Grizel. We'll find something maybe on a later evening so you have time to, uh, to meet with him. Thank you. Councillor Sonnenberg. Thank you once again. Councillor Black has been good enough to look up the information on the parade on Saturday on his magic device there. It is at 12.30. My goodness. That's the way it's always been, as I recall. Well, I'm glad uh, somebody uh, straightened me out on that because uh, I got 2 o'clock somewhere. Not sure where, whether I was out of the guide. You've been lonely? I didn't find that all that humorous, to be honest with you. I have two items, and then we'll, we'll head out the doors, so to speak. Uh, as Councillor uh, Height has brought up, I, but I do want to also say, James, to you, thank you very much uh, for the um, capital budget, getting it in our hands last Friday, well in advance of next Wednesday, Thursday. It's very well done. Please pass that on to, to Sue and your staff. Got the right person, Sue, yeah. Kathy LaPlante, pardon me. Sometimes I get them mixed up. Kathy and uh, your staff for the work there. And my last uh, comment is uh, something I don't want to get into a debate tonight, but I do want to bring this up, um, Chris, to you, Chris Baird, from me. I know last week I asked uh, they're under business when we could expect the report for marijuana, personal growing, and I think your response was by the end of the year. And uh, I know some things we can't hurry up, but I um, would hope that that report comes back here ASAP, that we could get it here. And my fear is this, Mr. Baird. Uh, I have talked to a number of residents, as many of you have, and this is an ongoing problem. And it's, it's, uh, I certainly have indicated to many of them that I am making no promises on behalf of this council and staff that we can solve this thing just because the staff report does come back, but we should be able to get a lot of information and facts and, and uh, comments from staff as to what, what can be done and what can't be done. But I, uh, I'm a little bit leery if we wait till, let's say, one of the first, one of the two meetings in early December and basically, we break for a month through the holiday, or it's not quite a month, but you know what I mean, three weeks. And then, Mr. Baird, um, really, there is nothing that we can do. I'm a little bit worried that a lot of people have expectations on this report. And I'm suggesting to people that we don't know where we're going with this. We don't know what we can do. But we certainly are willing to look into it. So if, if there's anything that staff can do to bring this along as quickly as possible. There, there are children leaving their homes on some evenings to go elsewhere to sleep. And that is not acceptable, I think, to most people. And that's no disrespect to the growers. There's just something has got to be done down the road. And I don't know who's going to help us solve this, but we're maybe going to need some help from somewhere above. Is that a fair statement? Uh, most certainly, Mr. Mayor, and uh, your message is received loud and clear. So. Nope. Thank you very much, Mr. Baird. I just um, think uh, this is a pretty important topic in this county and something we, we have to get at as soon as possible. Thank you. I have a confirming bylaw moved by Height and seconded by Oliver that the bylaw 2017-110 being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings 
of the Council of Norfolk County at this council meeting held on the 10th day of October 2017 be passed, signed by the mayor and clerk, and fixed with the corporate seal. Those in favor? That is carried. We're adjourned. Thank you, everyone, for your attendance this afternoon.